to be there She says she won't care Now you had something Before you had nothing I don't want to care But your love's real And it's an odd thing I cannot be your whole world I sit on the fake grass And I won't believe that And I never had enough for you But you said someone Today we have a match of global interest for you. It's Barcelona against Real Madrid and I'm Martin Tyler, Alan Smith is with me. And uh, what hasn't been said that's been said a million times about this game, it's, it's thrilling, Alan. It is, you look at those two teams down there, the superstars, the uh, sheer depth of talent in both and uh, it rarely disappoints, does it? You really don't need to say too much more than Lionel Messi. Well, he is one of the greatest talents to ever grace this game. Perhaps the greatest, and as a result, you'd expect him to dominate things out here today. There's no question when Cristiano Ronaldo's on the team sheet, he doesn't do taking it easy, does he? Every game, he wants to be the best player on the field. Yeah, he wants to be the man, doesn't he? There is an ego there, quite a sizable one. But, uh, cannot take anything away from his ability. Barcelona's lineup here. Marc-Andre Testegen starts in goal. Gerard Piquet starts with Samuel Umtiti as the centre-backs. Coutinho starts with Sergio Busquets in central midfield. And up front, Antoine Griezmann, the main striker today. This is the Real Madrid lineup. Thibaut Courtois starts in goal. Sergio Ramos plays with Rafael Varane in central defence. Luka Modric starts with Tony Kroos in the centre of the park. And the great man is up front today, Cristiano Ronaldo. So much excitement in the stadium, it can reach out and touch it almost. And El Clasico now is underway. Coutinho, Griezmann. Messi, chance to cross it. Coutinho. On to Jordi Alba. It's a good place to win the ball here. This could lead to a chance. It's good attacking play. Sale can go in from here. Coutinho, shots off. He's put it over. Yeah, nothing wrong with the contact and power, but accuracy just off. Griezmann. Sergio Busquets. Jordi Alba. Dembele. Modric. 
Cut out by Sergio Busquets. Modric. It's with Marco Asensio. Attacking now. Saw the ball, went for it. Now Casimiro. Aldo. On to Casimiro. He really hit that cross too hard and it sailed away. The uh, attack has fizzled out here. Goal kick. Sale. Pique. Samuel Umtiti. Coutinho. Sergio Busquets. Griezmann. They might have played him in here. Just to keep a debate. Messi comes out of the. That was a puff out your cheeks moment, and phew, got away with it. Now it's Usman Dembele. Busquets. It's with De Jong. Opportunity here. That did look like a real opening, but they've dealt with it. Is there any other fixture, Alan, that can create such anticipation as uh, Real Madrid, Barcelona, Spain's Clasico? Well, it's got a, a magical ring to it. Sometimes these contests have descended into petty spats, but sometimes you're just treated to fantastic football. The shot's on! The shot gets blocked. They're going to get a corner here because of that deflection. Played in by Dembele with the corner. Oh, that's good defending. Coutinho, it's with De Jong, Kroos, Eden Hazard, Sergio Ramos, Tony Kroos, Cristiano Ronaldo, Hazard, Marcelo, Kroos, it's with De Jong. Referee has used the advantage law well here for Real Madrid. And they've got a free kick here. An example of excellent refereeing here. He delayed this punishment. He's going to show a card now. But he wanted that previous attack to at least find its natural conclusion. Yeah, he is one of our more experienced refs, isn't he? And uh, I like watching him go about his work. Showed his experience there. Cleared away, well away from goal. Interception here. Casimiro. Trying to find an opening. Not panicking. Being closed down here. He's through. Cristiano Ronaldo. Real well, Madrid have got it. The first goal in the Classico. Well, that spiced things up a bit, hasn't it? Replay confirming for us here that the goalkeeper did get a touch, but not strong enough to keep the ball out of his net. Well, he is his own harshest critic, this lad, and he would blame himself for that, I think, having got a touch. He's not the easiest of managers to work for, I know that, but his players are doing what he demanded beforehand now. To confirm for you, Real Madrid ahead. Lionel Messi. Griezmann. It's with De Jong. Excellent challenge. Eden Hazard. Rafael Varane. Modric. And the board shows three added minutes. And that tackle has got him the ball. They've lost the ball, and the counter-attack could be there. It's with Marco Asensio. Oh, he spotted the pass and cut it out. Modric. And that's half-time. Signalled by the referee. 1-0 the half-time score. Your view, Alan Smith, on Cristiano Ronaldo's first half.
Well, his manager will be delighted with him. After that first half, that late goal, it tilted the balance. I mean, a good... So much excitement. Start of the second half with Real Madrid at the moment out in front. Hazard. Coutinho. Griezmann. And now Messi. Oh, he's cut that out well, well read. Carvajal. On to Ronaldo. And here they are, Real on the attack again. Beautiful work on the ball. He can lay it off to the supporting player. Put away, but not out of harm's way. Coutinho. Well, the ball hit him, the referee. And then what can he do about it? Modric. Not a good challenge by the defender. Marcelo. He could cross it from here. Ronaldo the target in the middle. Hit the post. Marco Asensio. Real opportunity with a chance like that to pull ahead. Well, that's when a manager wants to see a ruthlessness about his strikers. Sergio Busquets. Dembele. Well, the wide man can show his skills here. Coutinho. Jordi Alba. Here's the yacht. Barcelona awarded the throw here. And coming up is a switch in personnel for Real Madrid. Well, they're sitting off the opposition here, and that can invite pressure. And here's the shot. The defenders managed to get in the way there. Modric is looking. It's Vasquez. Great vision from Ronaldo. Oh, it's an offside decision. Well, the players can't believe it, and neither can the crowd, but it's the right decision. It's with De Jong. Trying to switch on the attacking power in this situation. De Jong, they've drawn level, Barcelona. We've got a game on our hands now. Fantastic from the neutral point of view that the game is level again. Take another look at the goal. So away we go at one all. Now Casimiro, Lucas Vasquez, Modric, here's Casimiro, Patience is the name of the game at the moment, here's Lucas Vasquez, defending strongly there and making sure the cross didn't get into the danger area, they've got the ball back, the interceptor got it for them, it's Isco, Eden Hazard, well, he has got a chance to get the cross in. Subs getting ready. And he's got his block in and the cross doesn't get into the middle. Modric, now with Ronaldo. Lucas Vasquez! Oh, well done, the goalkeeper. And he's hung on to the ball. Here's the yacht. Now the 
countdown is to 10 minutes left. Here's Isco. Isco. Turn to Hazard. Keeper's ball. No question about that. It's a weak cross, really. Dembele. Has a play for a throw. Well, that's the end of his game, and what a game he's had. And the crowd appreciate that. Excellent. Well, he, he was so lively from the first whistle, really, and he was dictating the match for large parts. Well done, some. He's got his tackle in, and the ball's gone out now. And he's allowed uh, three substitutes, and two of them coming on together here. Lucas Vasquez. That's a wonderful tackle. Well, we're playing mind games here as well as the actual game of football. Are they prepared to risk losing to try and win? We're going to find out. It's still level pegging in the closing moments. We've got two added minutes. Well, maybe the counter-attack is on here. Just one minute left on the clock. That's the referee's final whistle. And the scores are level. Well, we're all level after 90 minutes, so it's on to extra time. It's underway. That's good advantage shown by the referee for Barcelona. Messi. Got in the way. Really in the clear now. He's in now. Superb save. He shouldn't have had a chance at all with that, but ooh, what about those reflexes? Brilliant. Trying to catch the opposition out with a short corner. It's not a cross that's free kick coming up. Jordi Alba. Here's the young. Sale. Let's see. In a wide position here, they found him. Miralem Pjanic. Real Madrid had the ball. They can be quick on the break now. Real chance. Trying to get the ball in behind. Ter Stegen showing great... Reach, great reflexes. The corner side, any keeper would be fair of. Decided that this time they're going to play the short corner. Keeper not taking any chances, not wanting to catch that one. He's punched it away. Can whip it in now. Oh, that's good defending. It's good to know how much longer there is. This wasn't always the case, certainly when I started commentating. We've got two added minutes. Hazard and shoots! He really gave it the laces there, didn't he, Alan? Yeah, he did connect with it beautifully. Not a bad effort at all. Second period of extra... <laughs> 15 more minutes to play in the second half of extra time. Decent cross, but no one to benefit from it. Griezmann. It's with... To Young. Steered through. Chance to put it in the box from here. Well, it is a chance to relieve some of the pressure hit by simply having the ball. Janic. Here's Messi. Shot on. Gone for placement. But his bearings wrong.
Eight minutes left in the second half of extra time. It's Isco. On to Ronaldo. Miralem Pjanic. Break quickly when they get possession. Casimiro. Lucas Vasquez. Whip could be the winner. And Ronaldo's in. as though it was going to be level right to the uh, final whistle but Real Madrid have nicked him with a goal in the nick of time uh, it's Barcelona who are trailing in this game Messi has to clear it Place another two minutes added on by the referee Final whistle here. Real Madrid have victory today. Final thoughts, not a real post-mortem, Alan, but obviously disappointment. Isn't it? is it an occasion of true grandeur the date has been ringed in red for months now and the stage is set here on the spanish capital for the uefa champions league final
My name is Derek Ray, my co-commentator to help describe all the action is of course Lee Dixon and we're fast approaching kickoff time here at the magnificent Estadio Metropolitano. It's Barcelona against Paris Saint-Germain. Well, it's an absolute pleasure, Derek, to be here. Very, very lucky indeed to be broadcasting to millions and millions of people, let alone watching this fantastic game. I'm sure the players are a little bit nervous as well with that audience looming in the background, tuning in on their televisions. It's going to be a great night. I'm very excited to be here. Hopefully, we get the game that this tournament deserves. no surprise that they're back in a Champions League final. Well, it's just their normal. They just expect to be in finals, to win games and pick trophies up. And the Barcelona shape looks like this. Marc-Andre Ter Stegen starts in goal. Pique starts alongside Samuel Umtiti in the middle of the defence. Coutinho plays with Sergio Busquets in central midfield. And up front leading the line is Antoine Griezmann. And the PSG team looks like this. The Costa Rican Keylor Navas gets the nod in goal. Dani Alves starts with Thomas Meunier as fullbacks. Julian Draxler plays alongside Marco Verratti in the engine room. And up front, Neymar is the main striker today. This is it, the Champions League final. They are underway. Who will be crowned Club Kings of Europe? Messi. Now, what could he do here? Antoine Griezmann waiting. And he's banged it against the woodwork with the header. Well, we're talking inches so, so close with his head. I always think it's impossible, Lee, not to be moved when you're covering Barcelona in the UEFA Champions League, as the club motto tells you, mesh que un club, more than just a football club. Well, you feel that as soon as you come into the stadium, don't you? Even if the team's not playing particularly well, the fans let you know that they're here to support those famous Barcelona shirts and they do it week in, week out. Neymar! An authoritative challenge. It will be a Paris Saint-Germain free kick. Well, that could be his final rebuke, I think, and the referee's making that absolutely clear. Well, I like that, Derek. Good refereeing. Nice and strong, told the player exactly what he was thinking. <laughs> Neymar has a go here! And the free kick from long range, he didn't miss by much Lee. No, I thought the ball would be coming into the box, but long range free kick, he's had a go. Sergio Busquets. Verratti. Draxler. The cross is on. Excellent ball towards the front post. Still alive.
Quick thinking to dispossess his opponents. Now Busquets. Lionel Messi. And Messi. Good ball movement and a decent position here for Barcelona. And Messi gives it a go. And he's done well to tip it over the bar. Fired over by Messi. It's still alive. Coutinho! Fine reaction save from the goalkeeper. Goalkeeping at its best. Really, really top draw. the corner played into the box but well, they had a decent reading of that ball in Frankie de Jong Coutinho and threading it forward powerful enough but not precise enough no not accurate enough at all he had other options on as well Di Maria Draxler Verratti, Neymar, he had the sixth sense to know what to do and win it back, and can he make this move count, running with the ball confidently, Coutinho, and now Coutinho, Griezmann, will there be a tangible end product, and a chance for them to notch in front, Barca's corner. And that's a deep corner. Thumps clear. PK with it. Now Jordi Alba. Is he going to punish them here? And the keeper making sure that was pushed well away from danger. Here's Mbappe. Dani Alves with it. The tackle crisp and accurate. And now Coutinho. Robbed of possession, Coutinho. Interesting to compare and contrast PSG now with PSG a few years ago. Lee, you played against them. Oh, that's an interesting pass. Just drifted into the illegal position, offside, in the opinion of the officials. Now here's Piquet, De Jong. Jordi Alba. Sergio Busquets. Lionel Messi now what can he do here corner for Barcelona fired over by Usman Dembele attending to his defensive chores here's Icardi Draxler Dembele, Griezmann, taking care of business defensively here, Lionel Messi, Sergio Busquets, Frankie de Jong, Barcelona have given it away, oh they've got to tread carefully, now Minier, Here's Icardi, Di Maria. Now 
Neymar. The cross is on. Coutinho. Lionel Messi. And now Coutinho. Griezmann. Dembele on the ball. Well, let's see. Does he mean business? And Dembele couldn't keep the ball. Just couldn't keep it. Danny Alves. Marquinhos with the block. Di Maria now. We've been waiting to find out. Now we know a minimum of three added minutes here. Sergio Busquets. Now Griezmann. And Messi. Half time then, and we're sorry for the pause in the proceedings here, Lee, because this has been a thoroughly riveting Champions League final so far. Well, it has. Great game. Sometimes finals can be cagey affairs, but not this one. Let's hope, Derek, in the second half we get more of that. It's been really, really entertaining. Forty-five minutes separating these two sides from glory. The second half of the Champions League final begins. Verratti. Mbappe with it. And it crossed the byline. A goal kick as a result. Jordi Alba. And now Coutinho. Quick thinking to dispossess his opponent. PSG on the move with purpose. What can they do from this particular position? Well, I must say, no shortage of space for Barcelona. And it's with Coutinho. Now regaining possession for his side cleverly. Lionel, promising looking ball. Ousmane Dembele prepared to fire. Well, clattered away. He's just a thorough reader of the game. And there we saw it. This is Neymar. Icardi. And now Coutinho. Sergio Busquets. Piesman. Dembele. And cleared away. Verratti. Raxler now. Mbappe with it. And threaded through by Mbappe. Well, not quite. Jordi Alba. And now Coutinho. Sergio Busquets has lost it. Messi. Now Griezmann. Verratti. Here's Mbappe. This is Neymar. Verratti now. We might see the wide route as a fruitful one, PSG. Chile and Mbappe. Is he going to punish them here? Crossing possibilities. Great block. It will be a Paris Saint-Germain free kick. Substitution it is for PSG. Well, straight into the meat of the penalty area. Well, a sloppy clearance. What can the opposition do with this? Messi. Barcelona moving the ball. Can he give them the lead? Well, really digging in at the back. But still the opportunity. Lionel Messi! And no nonsense defensive clearance. Given away. Will there be a tangible end product? And Messi. It's Kimpembe now. Now, 
Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. Now Jordi Alba. Now Busquets. Possession regained by Verratti. Neymar thrives on running at defenders. So, 20 minutes to go. An awful lot of green space to run into. Here's Lo Celso. Mbappe with it. Neymar. Icardi. Now Minier. Now, what can he do here? He's going forward well here. Maximum commitment, and he's given away the corner. And it is substitution time at this juncture, not just from one side, but from both. The delivery from Neymar, betwixt and between that clearance. Now here's Piquet. Coutinho. An abundance of space. And now Coutinho. Can he put it away? And that is offside. And a substitution in the offing. Verratti now. Here's Mbappe. Well, let's see, does he mean business? It lacked conviction, that clearance. And maybe an opportunity for the opposition. The outcome is a goal kick here. And TC. Pjanic. Given away by Barcelona. Coutinho, Dembele, Lionel Messi, Lionel Messi, and the defender finding a solution to the problem. Pjanic now, Coutinho, robbed of possession, Coutinho. Barcelona have given it away. Verratti now. Neymar. Mbappe. Maneuvering his way forward. One minute remaining. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. Well, can he make this move count? Lionel Messi! Well, how about that? Barcelona forge ahead in the Champions League final with time running out. Well, here's the replay with the clock ticking down. Has he won the game for his team? Cool, calm and collected. He deserves that. Brilliant finish. Slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. It's Kimpembe now, and now. Magnificent end to a long, long, hard season. Eventually they got their rewards and fully, fully justified. Well, for one team, it's a story of celebration. For the other, bitter disappointment. But the Barca players will remember this night for the rest of their lives. And as a player, Lee, as a 
Barcelona player in this case, this is what you want to experience. Well, it is. We have expectations at the start of the season, all those long, hard training sessions in pre-season. You kind of need a goal to get through that pain. Focusing on winning trophies for Barcelona will be that carrot that they need. It's Barcelona's Champions League! And they've got to savour this. It's not every night this comes along. Well, they probably will be here next year, you never know. <laughs> the way they play, but fully deserved, and they'll have uh, celebrations right throughout the night with their families and friends. Well, this is the moment I love, sharing it with the fans. The ticket tape's coming down, the family's in the stand, giving them all a wave. But they've travelled all over Europe watching this team. Now they get to share in this moment. Fantastic. of fire as well as ice on the pitch now the chance for a photograph my mum always told me to get on the front row she taught you well Lee there we have it the Champions League victors for 2019 this is it